السلام علیکم ایم محمد رضوان اینڈ مائی ریسورس پرسن از ڈاکٹر حمد مجید نو آئی ڈسکرائب دا ٹاپک از پکس فسٹ آف آل ہیئر دا کانٹینٹ آف آل ٹاپک دا فسٹ پوائنٹ از واٹ از پیکس پریکٹیکل انڈیوسڈ ایکس رے مشینس اور پروٹین انڈیوسڈ ایکس رے مشینس is a technique used for determining the elemental composition of materials or sample. When a material is exposed to an ion beam, atomic interactions occur that give off the EM radiations of wavelength in the X-ray part of the electromagnetic spectrum, specific to an element. Through the application of an ion beam, PICS measure the radiation emitted by electron state change and identify each element based on its unique emission. Recorded the spectral peak. This technology is extremely useful as it is non-destructive analytic method and can in fact analyze sample either in or outside of vacuum. This technique was first proposed in 1970 by Seven Johnsons of Lund University, Sweden and developed over the next few years with his colleagues Roland X. Slezens and Thoms B. Johnsons. Recent extensions of PICS using tightly focused beam down to 1 micrometer gives the additional capability of microscopic analysis. This technique called micropix can be used to determine the distributions of trace elements in a wide range of samples. A related technique practice induced gamma rays emissions can be used to detect some light elements and the next is how it works how pics produce induced x-ray emission spectroscopy works pics work by preciously detecting x-ray emitted through electron state change Quantum theory states that within any stable atoms, electrons must maintain constant energy levels. Picks using an ion accelerator to describe this stability, the ion beams send the necessary energy to excite the inner shell electrons in turn to maintain equilibrium, outer shell transition to replace exciting K shell. Lactons emitted in energy order to do so. The electromagnetic radiations that is emitted in the X-ray light spectrums, this transition and subsequent energy emissions are characterized of independent elements, a device called the energy dispersion. SIF detectors measure the X-ray and their intensities as emitted by the state change recording the resulting spectral data of the element constructions. The detection limits can be in the half of the ppm with positive and negative 10% accuracy. The total x-ray spectrum can be measured at once and the quantitative data is determined as the area of the spectral peak related to each independent elements type of picks there are three type of spectral can be collected for picks experiment the first one is x-ray emission spectrums the second rutherford backscattering spectrums protons transmission spectrum quantum theory state that orbitals Orbital electrons of an atom must occupy discrete energy levels. In order to be stable, 
bombardment with ion of sufficient energy produced by an ion accelerator with cause inner shell ionization of atoms in a specimen outer shell electron drop down to replace inner shell allowed x-ray of a characteristic energy of the element are emitted an energy dispersive detector is used to record and measure this x-rays only the element heavier than fluorines can be detected the lower detection limit of a pix beam is given by the ability of the x-ray to pass through the window between the chamber and the x-ray detector the upper limit is given by the ionization cross sections the probability of the k electron shell ionizations this is the maximal when the velocity of the proton matches the velocity of the electron 10% of speed of light therefore three main protein beam or opticals the second one is the proton back secreting proton can also interact with the nucleus of the atom in the sample through elastic collisions rather forward back secreting often repelling the protons at angle close to 180 degree the back secreting give informations on the sample thickness and composition the bulk sample property allow from the cohesion of x-ray photons laws within the sample and the last is proton transmissions the transmission of proton through a sample can also used to get information about the sample to the next point is the application for pegs the external beam pegs has the ability to analyze the whole sample externally this technology is widely used in geological and art while the standard pegs is focused mainly in the chemistry and pharmaceutical field the technology has been used to analyze everything for dinosaurs egg to commercial polymers and plastics the range of applicable use for pegs is what classifies it is a valuable instrument it can be used to analyze toxins identify element content of an unknown sample examine materials for coating and oil as well as quantify atmospheric level harmful elements the instrumentations also allow for solid sample to be analyzed without any pre treatment and can detect many elements below 1 ppm helling is one of process that can be used to study crystals the last is the limitation of pegs the limitation of pegs are primarily in regard to what element it can identify pegs is accurate for elements above sodium anything below sodium will not show up as the element rays will observe barrier to reaching the detectors while external beam pegs spectrometer can be used to analyze whole samples the ideal sample is homogeneous if the sample is not homogeneous it is best practice to test multiple sessions and take the average of the quantitative results this provide semi qualitative data but is within acceptable error range for internal pegs analyze homogeneous samples are also ideal as a x ray are emitted from only the top few microns and thus non homogeneous samples may produce inaccurate reading scientists in various field are continuous finding new uses of for pegs from polymer testing and failure analyze to deep formulations and pharmaceutical product development pegs is a premium non destructive method for delivering incredible accurate information at element levels
it is the reference of all topics thank you for listening